today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I know these are super popular videos and I like watching them to see what new things are out there. So I'm going to show you what I've picked up over the last like month or so. Uh, this is several different stores, several different trips. So just wanted to let you know that. So I'll start with like home care items, get that out of the way. And I'm sorry about the rustling bags. But the first thing I picked up is this ladder wire rack. This is a front view. And if you ever watch Alejandra.tv, she has an organizing home organization channel here. She's a professional organizer. I saw her talk about one of these for organizing under the sink in like uh, your kitchen or your bathroom. And so I'm going to use this under the kitchen sink to organize my uh, cleaning products. So got that. Then along the same lines of cleaning products, I picked up this pack of two all-purpose cleansing cloths by Pledge. I thought that was great, you know, since it's a name brand. There's a bigger green one and a small blue one for dusting or for, like, looks like computers or windows. So I'm really trying to, like, clean up my house this weekend and get everything super organized for Thanksgiving. So be using that. Then I picked up a pack of the Cherry Blossom scent beads. This is by the brand The Home Store. And I have my empty container here. I got one of these a long time ago. So I'm gonna put these in here and put it in the bathroom or in my car just to freshen up any area I want to. I also got a pack of the nail guard sponges for doing dishes or cleaning the bathroom or the kitchen. So I always get these there. Then I picked up a lint roller. Uh, if you have pets or if you have long hair, then lint rollers are necessary for black pants. I feel like I always have some sort of like fuzz on my black pants. It's just inevitable. Uh, then also to clean, I picked up the awesome, the totally awesome orange oxygen cleaner. I've used the original version, not the orange one. So I thought I would give the orange one a try for cleaning, for laundry. I've had a lot of success with this stuff, uh, with the original one. I think it's just like OxyClean. So this is kind of one of my go-to cleaning products. So that's all the things for like household cleaning. Now I will get into like kind of random, like office things and crafting things and a few, maybe one food thing. So the first thing I picked up in the book section is this called Practically Posh. This is a book and it's like a fashion DIY book. It's called the Small, uh, it says The Smart Girl's Guide to a Glam Life. And it just has a bunch of neat tips and tricks in here, some recipes. Um, let me see if I can find a good picture here. Yeah, like ways to organize your house or little life hacks and stuff. So I thought this would be cute to put on my table, you know, for when people come over, or just to read it to get some inspiration. So I picked up that one. Then I picked up, I've already gotten into these guys, I picked up multi-grain Cheerios in the dark chocolate flavor, and these were actually such a lifesaver. After I went to Dollar Tree and got these, I got stuck in traffic for like an hour and a half with nothing else in my car. And it was like around 11.30 and I'm so hungry. So I dug into these, but normally I would eat these just like a small amount for a healthy snack um, or semi healthy snack when you have like a sweet tooth. So, or when you're stuck in one and a half hours of traffic, you can eat those as well. <laughs> Then in other household items, I picked up this really cute to-go coffee mug. It's one of their Christmas ones. It has like a penguin and it has a reindeer on this side and a Christmas tree. So I thought this is super cute and it has, you know, this type of like lid. Uh, it's a 16 ounce, no, not 16 ounce. It is 11.5 ounces, so kind of the equivalent to a tall coffee beverage. But I've used this a couple times. I think it is perfect, especially if you're going to order like a Christmas drink or something. So, you know, you only have 12 ounces and you can just enjoy it instead of, I don't know, giving like one of those massive ones and then you're on like a sugar rush forever. <laughs> but also some office supplies I picked up were these binder clips. This is the 10 pack, the 10 count. And I use these for everything, for clipping together papers, also to keep the like sheet on the top of my rabbit's cage. We clip them on with this, so, and they kind of um, get lost easily. You know, it's like paper clips, so we have to pick up some new ones every now and again. Then I picked up this pack of uh, these stickers. I think I've seen people haul these before. They're like this, the little flowers, the hearts, and the stars, and they're kind of shiny. And I got this, uh, an idea to use these off of Alejandra.tv again. I swear, like, I'm not <laughs> sponsored by her or anything. But I just really have watched a lot of her videos over the last couple days to try and get organized in my house. But she makes charts. Like, her thing is making lists and charts to keep herself organized. And then she uses stickers to, like, mark the different days she does things. So I wanted to make her exercise chart. And then she puts a sticker every day that she exercises so she can keep track of it. 
and she has it for like the whole year. So at the end of the year, she can like count the little stars or hearts or whatever and think, you know, see how many days she, she exercised. So I think that's really neat. I might do that inside my planner, like make the chart and put it in my planner. So got those. Then I got some clear contact paper. It just says uh, transparent, quick cover is the brand. And I'm going to use this for an upcoming DIY, or maybe I'll try. I was playing around with how to do it last night. I want to make my own work badge because the company I work for doesn't provide ID badges. So whenever I go into appointments like hospitals or clinics, I want to make my own badge so that people know I'm just not like wandering around. Um, and that's happened to me a couple times recently. People have thought like that I was a patient or I wasn't supposed to be somewhere. And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm here to see someone. So I'm just going to make my own since they don't provide one. Uh, let's see. And then along with that, I got these are called retractable card holders, and they're green ones. So I got this to clip on to my badge so I can just like put it on my hip or on my shirt or something so people can see it. They had a bunch of other colors too, like pink and blue and black, but I decided to get the green because I thought it was pretty neutral and maybe my husband will need one for something so he could use green as well. Let's see. Then I got some pens. These are six colored pens. These are by the brand Pro Marks with an X. And they have red, orange, green, blue, and purple. So I'm trying to get organized, like I said. So in my planner, I'm going to use a different color for each like event or specific things to kind of organize my planner. So when I look at it, I know, okay, I have this on this day and this on that day. So uh, if you guys are interested to see how I end up organizing my planner, I can definitely let you know and do a video. Let's see. A couple other books that I got here is one called The Compassionate Carnivore. And I thought this was really interesting because I know that food is a very controversial topic, whether to eat meat or not eat meat. But I wanted to read this because it's kind of one person's opinion about being a carnivore so or an omnivore. So I just wanted to read it because I'm doing a 30 before 30 challenge and part of that is to read 30 books in the next year. I'm actually getting ready to film a 30 before 30 challenge video so uh, you can look out for that on my channel. Then I got this book for my mom. It's called Making Rounds with Oscar and we have a cat or my mom has a cat just like this guy at home so I thought this would be great to give to her. It's about um, an extraordinary gift of an ordinary cat so cat related reading material. <laughs> Then I picked up a few packets of these Altoids. They're in the bag instead of the tin. I like the ones in the bag because they don't make very much noise. The ones in the tin, I feel like in my purse, it's like a little tambourine in there just shaking around. So I like the ones in the bag. And I got some of these Danish butter cookies. My parents are coming into town for Thanksgiving and they like these little snacky things. So I was going to put these out, you know, with coffee or tea or something. So, yes. Then something random I kind of picked up. This is a, a deck of playing cards. It's a little cupcake though. How cute. I'm putting together some things because at Christmas time I like to do the uh, angel tree where you choose like a person and you make up a little box and they give it to them as a gift. And I usually do a girl one because I'm much better at buying presents for girls than I am for boys. So I was going to include this in that little gift this year. So I picked that up. Then um, these are kind of household related. I picked up this pack of six tiny salt and pepper shakers. And if you watch other people's Dollar Tree videos, I believe her channel, channel is called Anna Mobile. Uh, she showed that she had these. And when I saw those, I got inspired to put stevia in them and put it in my purse because I don't know if you guys use sweeteners or stevia. I usually only use half a packet. So then I like waste half of a packet. So I was going to put the actual powdered stevia, well I have, put the actual powdered stevia into one of these and then I just put a piece of tape over the little holes and peel back the tape, you know, sprinkle it into my drink and then go on. And it's worked really well. I think I have saved a lot of product. So, and then I have to change the tape like once a week, not a big deal. So these are great for that or they're also great for Thanksgiving, you know, putting a little salt and pepper on your table at different spots. So there is that. Okay, so that is all from that bag. I'm just going to set this stuff back here. Then, before I move on, I will show you this. I know, this looks so weird. I don't even know if I can fit that all into the frame. 
but this is the back. So this is a device that you put in your car, in your car driver's seat, and it has these little things here that are kind of springy. So when you drive, it supports your back. You could put this in a desk chair as well. I got this for my car because I drive a ton for work and my back starts to hurt from driving so much. I try to do like little like muscle contractions in my car. Maybe that's really weird to, I don't know, just keep my circulatory system moving. But I've been putting this, or I, uh, I got it a couple days ago, but I put it in my car and I think it really helps support my back for those long drives. So I really like that. Now on to beauty products. I have quite a bit. These are like beauty and health products. First, to organize some of my beauty products, I picked up two of these clear, the square acrylic trays. I also have two of the long ones, but I really like these. I think I'm gonna use them in the bathroom. Then, I don't have it with me, but I picked up a pack of toothbrushes. I just saved the packaging to show you that it's the complete clean. That's the kind that me and my husband use. They have like gum massagers on the side. They have a tongue scraper on the back. We really like these. So I think they're comparable to like the Crest 360 or something like that. So if you're wanting to save some, some money on that, you should try out. They're called Complete Clean. And we get the soft ones. That's what our dentist told us is to use the soft bristle ones. Oh, oh, it says compare it to Colgate 360. Yeah, so it's exactly the same, but two for a dollar. You can't beat that. Then I picked up some of these Snugadoo little house slippers in the black, white, and uh, red. I like these the best because we have hardwood floors, so they're getting kind of dusty. So when I get the light colored ones, it's inevitable that the bottom gets all messed up really quickly. So I got these. Then I picked up some LA Colors Cosmetics because I've had a ton of requests to do like affordable makeup tutorial or Dollar Tree only makeup tutorial. So I got some products to do uh, with that. So I'll show you really quickly. I got a, this is eyebrow and eyeliner set. I got uh, one of their liquid eyeliners. Got one of their pressed powders. Then I got one of their eyeshadow, um, six pan eyeshadows in Cafe A Lot. I also picked up some sassy, sassy, that's really hard to say, sassy and chic false eyelashes. These are like the crisscross design. Yep. Then I picked up three of these makeup bags. They're the quilted makeup bags. I picked up one in pink, one in purple, and one in blue. These, honestly, guys, are the best quality makeup bags I have ever seen at Dollar Tree. They're really thick, and they're, although they're folded, they can become like square, like this. Yeah, they just feel like really good material. So I have some ideas to make like little gift bags for coworkers or for friends, or I might just keep them for travel. I really like that they're all the same like style. And they had an orange and a green, a green maybe, and a red. I know they had orange and red. I can't remember if they had green. But for traveling, I like to put like camera cords or makeup products and stuff in these little bags. So I might pick up some more if I see them. Then a couple, they had a lot of e.l.f. products in the Dollar Trees that I've seen. So I picked up two of these Radiance Enhancers. This one is Sunrise. And then I got one in Sunset. And Sunset is the more pink tone one. Uh, I've been using these, I've used these. This is Spotlight, sorry, Spotlight and Sunset. No, Spotlight and Sunrise, <laughs> goodness. The spotlight one is uh, more pinky, so I've been using it under my eyes. I didn't use it today because it was in this bag, but I really like it so far. I think it's supposed to be comparable to like the YSL or all those other like under eye brightening enhancers. So I can let you know how they work out like on my blog or in a video. I picked up two of the Milani Glitzy Lip Gloss. And I've already opened one and I threw away the package, but I have it in uh, 06. No. That's 90. 90 and 50. 50 is the kind of lighter pink one, and then 90 is like the red one. And I can show you a swatch. I wasn't a huge fan of this. The swatch, like that's a pretty good color, but on your lips it looks kind of weird. It looks kind of bronzy goldish, which on some people that might be great, but for me it just didn't look great on me. It smells really good though. It smells really like tutti frutti, but we'll see. I might give these away. Um, another e.l.f. product that I got was the Eye Enhancing Mascara. It comes in a package like this, and this is what the actual product looks like. I have been loving this. If you can see, I don't know, if you can see the wand on that, it's actually like five little balls connected together. 
it just picks up every lash so nicely. And the deal with this mascara is it's supposed to have like a bluish tint and some sparkle in it to bring out blue eyes. But I haven't, when I used it, I didn't notice any sparkle or any blue and that was fine with me. It just was like a black mascara, but the wand is really nice. And normally this sells for $3 on the website. All of the studio products I think do. So if you see it, you might check it out, can't hurt. Then, then I got, I threw away the package, but I think I've seen a lot of people. This is a headband. It's one of the, the leopards, the gray and white one. And I've already worn this and got some compliments, but it's a little bit tricky to figure out how to use it. You know, you have to like twist it just once like this instead of under, but it gives you little bunny ears like that. It's cute. So yeah, I've been trying to use more hair accessories. Obviously I don't have one in today, but I've been trying to use more hair accessories because I think it just spruces up your look. Then I picked up some socks. I am someone who is always losing my socks, so I don't like to spend a lot of money on them because when I have spent a little bit more on socks, I've just lost them, so that's sad. So I picked up a pair of these sports socks. These are the like, I don't know, black and white and green and little stripes right there. And then I picked up some of the crew cut socks. These are like for boots. They just come up a little bit higher and they have a zebra print. It's a two pack and then they have black and white. Then I picked up some loofahs for me and my husband. I picked up a green one for him and a purple one for me because you need to change them every 30 days, just so you know. Uh, and actually, I'm kind of a crazy, uh, I think thought this was really cute that our toothbrushes that I got, his is green and mine is purple, so they match. Eee. Is that cool or is that nerdy? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I picked up some of these fashion nails. I thought this was really kind of a neat pattern. It's like the hound's tooth. So these are ones that you like apply with the adhesive tabs or with nail glue. I thought these would be really cute to use as an accent nail or just, you know, just to wear. So I'm going to try this out. Oh, I got another pair of athletic socks. These are multicolored, super cute. Then another pack of Altoids. Then I found this, I threw away the packaging, the like cardboard part, but I found a Milani Infinite Liquid Eyeliner. And this is in the shade unlimited and it's like a brown color so there you can see what it looks like so I've seen this in the store actually yesterday I was at CVS because I had like a 30% off and I saw this exact same eyeliner being sold for $8.99 so I got it for one dollar so I'll have to try it out I don't know if it's it doesn't it didn't seem to have like an expiration date or anything so I think I got a great deal in that but whoo guys that that is it that is all the things that I got in my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'll probably do these like once every three weeks or once a month when I, you know, make my trips to Dollar Tree. And you should keep on the lookout for other the other videos related to the items in this video. I would love to hear what you got in your Dollar Tree. So if you do a Dollar Tree haul, so let me know in the comments below or let me know some good things I should keep my eyes out for. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more Dollar Tree hauls, DIYs, fashion, food, all that stuff. I'll leave other links for places to find me down below. Hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!